Hey guys, it's been a crazy past year in football. I'm going to do my best to tell the 10 biggest stories. Here we go, Fabrizio. We start in Milan, where Inter finally won Serie A. After 10 long years, Antonio Conte's Inter finally landed the Scudetto, their first since Jose's travel in 2010. Lukaku super instrumental, but him and Conte somehow end up in London at the end of the story. Well, I guess this is Europe, but Italy win the Euros. It didn't come home. But overall, it was an incredible tournament. Bukayo Saka missed a crucial penalty, crowning Italy Campioni d'Europa. Props to Mancini, who has surely cemented his legacy in football. How can you hate this man? In France, Lille overcome PSG to win Ligue 1. I personally love these stories. Superpowers always winning is kind of stale, and to do it in a league where the disparity is probably at its biggest is an incredible achievement. The coach, Gaultier, is a beast and needs way more recognition. Respect. Respect. That's like winning the league in England with current Arsenal. <laughs> Again, in Europe, the Super League gets taken down. I get it, evil mean clubs, executives, but for the people at the top, this was probably the only way to guarantee and secure their club's long-term elite status. I think it was shrouded in a lot of mystery, people didn't really want to miss out, so we got what we wanted, and the integrity of the game is still safe. Back in Europe, at the Euros, we have Christian Eriksen, who was saved on the pitch after a heart failure. Shows us about the things that really matter in life. Super heroic from the captain, Simon Carr. Awesome to see him playing again at Brentford. I think that's going to be a really great move for him. Baller. And in England, Ronaldo returns to Manchester United. Even I got nostalgia. The guy is a certified beast. United are honestly unlucky with the whole manager situation right now. I like it. It was quite literally a sensational transfer. After Fergie and the ex-United players convinced him to come home instead of linking up with Guardiola at the City. In Germany, we have Lewandowski breaking the goal-scoring record for a calendar year in the Bundesliga. It's kind of unfortunate not to win the Ballon d'Or in recent years. The guy's stats are freaking nuts. Crazy good player, Lewandowski. Not really a place, but a person. Such an eventful year for Messi, the GOAT in my opinion. Uh, he seemed to be staying at Barca, then he needs to leave because of financial fair play, but not to Man City and Guardiola because they just signed Grealish, so PSG are really the only alternative for him. Just a crazy year for Messi in terms of output, finally winning the Copa America, an international trophy with Argentina after so, so many attempts, and a record 7th Ballon d'Or. Look at those achievements, bro. Ronaldo. It's right out. Back in England, we have Chelsea's resurgence. They're kind of back under Tuchel. Tuchel? Tuchel? Don't know. Brilliant Champions League run last year, and an incredible story for a club with so many homegrown players. Vindication for Tuchel after last year's Champions League final. Heartbreak. And again in England, Liverpool somehow making top four. Seriously, look at the table at that point of the season with that many games to go. After all those injuries, Liverpool win at Old Trafford, and Allison scores a fine header in the last minute against West Brom. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, I know there are plenty of great moments this past year, but these were my picks. Uh, let's hear about yours in the comments below. Ciao. And uh, enjoy the wine and the mince pie. Goodbye.